Ugh, that's making my lips dry. I don't see how Joaquin did that. Okay. Hello and welcome, welcome, welcome back to Movie Vibes with Desiree. And today I have my Batman ring and my Batman sweater and I'm ready to take on a movie review for Joker. Starring Joaquin Phoenix, Zazie Beetz, Robert De Niro, and so forth. Is it so forth or so on? I don't know. But it's directed by Todd Phillips, <laughs> who also directed Due Date, The Hangover, and also Starsky and Hutch. Joker is based on the story of Arthur Fleck, a traumatized, depressed comedian man of whom has a condition of excessive laughter and tries to settle himself within a society that constantly rejects him. Now, there were so many wonderful moments about this movie. I must first mention the cinematography. It was absolutely brilliant. The shot angles, whether it was complex or simplistic, definitely worked. And it also, I don't know if it intentionally did this, but it also introduced the tone of the movie before actually viewing the movie in its full. Now, the color palette and the environment of the film was just amazing. I loved how they portrayed Gotham City even though it wasn't really the comic book version or the previous versions that we've seen from other movies, it wasn't that type of Gotham City, I saw what they did. They basically made sure that Gotham was, of course, plain and pastel, much like the series Gotham on television, uh, but they made the costumes of the characters pop. So it, made, it, made, it basically made sure that you focused mainly on the characters um, and also the main centerpiece, which is, you know, Arthur Fleck, although it didn't truly embody the comic book version of Gotham City, the sort of darker version. You were aware in this movie that there were criminals within Gotham. Uh, however, they didn't truly make that the main focus uh, until it kind of neared the end of the film. Now, let's talk about characters. Joaquin Phoenix's performance as Arthur Fleck, aka the Joker, was absolutely amazing. Here's a spoiler alert. You might want to leave the room before I mention this. I'll give you about two seconds. Okay, so <laughs> as an actress myself, I truly understand how the opening of the scene is basically very, very imperative because it's what draws the audience and it's what makes you decide if whether or not you want to finish the movie. <laughs> So they had a wonderful opening moment with the camera sort of zooming in on the environment that surrounds uh, Arthur Fleck and basically what he was doing was putting on his makeup in front of the mirror and he was forcing himself to smile and it truly helped to establish who he was the character and also just the main focus of the movie and he to me what i got out of it is that he couldn't truly decide if whether or not his move his life was a comedy or a drama no a comedy or a tragedy sorry <laughs> a comedy or a tragedy so that to me was just amazing how he was able to sort of make draw you in but and i also liked within the scene how while he was doing that you could see like in the corner of the scene that there were a few of his co-workers um who also were hired on as clowns that were just sort of interacting and doing their thing but he was isolated and alone and it truly helped to establish what this was what the film was conveying so i truly appreciated that and his oh my goodness i don't know how much weight he lost for this role but you could literally see his rib cage and his spine. Now, I would have to say that his voice when he first spoke in the film, because that's what I like to listen for is the voice, especially when it's the Joker. There's so many different versions of the Joker and I was just a little bit nervous about his voice, but it actually worked. It was a very soft tone, little kid type of voice. Someone who definitely didn't have any confidence and someone who you knew was going through something. Joaquin definitely perfected that and he also perfected the laugh. There's different versions of it, of course, but I absolutely love Joaquin's choice uh, as far as the tone of his laughter because there were times throughout the movie where his laugh was very, very, you could tell there was sadness within it. And it was so uncontrollable because again, that's his mental condition, but he truly mastered the laugh. I actually liked it. You kind of saw how that laugh evolved with his character as you witnessed as an audience member his 
sort of um, evolution of retrieving his desires uh, and sort of accepting himself in a way. It was just amazing. Um, and to see his transformation and the choices, all the strong choices that Joaquin made as the Joker was just phenomenal. And I liked also how in the film they included the fact that, and I've always argued this with a lot of my fellow comic book geek fans, that the Joker is not a reliable narrator. And they also showed that in the film, um, in this one scene, and I, spoiler alert if you have not seen the movie, but in this one scene where after he was done killing these three young men who were basically uh, perceived to be rapists. I don't know if they were if they were going to rape the woman that was on the um, subway, but e either way, the Joker of just space or Arthur, um, he started laughing and then basically distracted them from doing that and made it made him the focus. And they ended up beating him up until he finally got up the courage to kill kill them all. And um, he even admitted to the therapist that you know after killing them, he felt he didn't feel too bad about it at all so that's how you knew he was a little <laughs> it was getting a little bit more darker so um oh, where was I going with this oh yeah and then after the scene after that particular scene he went um and opened up the door to this <laughs> woman's apartment who he liked I guess and they basically had sex but later throughout the movie they revealed that that scene was not true that the woman was not there comforting him that she was because they kind of made it seem as if they had gotten to know each other and they became boyfriend and girlfriend and it wasn't the case at all he was imagining these things so i loved how they basically proved my point against people that i've always you know went up against about this but the joker is definitely an unreliable narrator because he is delusional and he has the you know it's due to his mental condition as well so I could appreciate that one scene that I also really really loved um and it was a bit sad was when he was in the uh comedy club and he was taking notes and just sort of I don't know if he was borrowing jokes or just getting inspiration from this comedian but you could see how the audience were, was laughing at a different time than he was when they were quiet, he was laughing. He was laughing at the wrong time, basically. And he would look around and be like, well, why isn't anyone else laughing? So that was very interesting to see. And I truly appreciated that because it further dug deep into who he was. You can tell that he went full in for this role. And I truly appreciate that because the Joker is literally like one of my favorite villains. And <laughs> I truly enjoyed the film. Robert De Niro, I would have to say, who played Murray Franklin was also amazing. You can tell he didn't have to try too hard for his role. I mean, he's a legend <laughs> so yeah there's that he was amazing um Zazie Beats it was good to see her as well very uh soft-spoken and basically they portrayed her to be this understanding person that the Joker leaned on or that Arthur leaned on at the time but all of that was pretty much fake and fantasized one thing that was a bit confusing for me was that towards like maybe the last half of the movie there could have been like five different types of endings and I would have personally liked for the movie to have ended spoiler alert here we go when he told the therapist when she asked him what was so funny what was funny um and he said you wouldn't understand that right there like that could have been a good ending but they kept adding on and adding on and adding on which okay it, it's fine um I'm actually okay with the way it ended but I feel like literally there was there were different there were different moments that could have made for a unique ending but I would have as a fan especially have liked for it to end where he said um you know you wouldn't understand it was very very sadistic it was very it was so the joker so just leave it there basically I don't know <laughs> the one thing maybe two actually two things that I would have to say that I didn't so much care for was not so much the casting of Alfred, but Alfred's appearance. Ugh. I mean, literally, he wasn't Alfred. He did not do it for me. He had like the five o'clock shadow and well, no, it wasn't shadow, it was a full on beard, first of all, problem number one. And then he had, he had the um, suit on, but his jacket wasn't buttoned. He didn't even look like a butler, literally. It's like, hey, do you wanna be in a movie? 
come on, you can go ahead and play Alfred. We'll go ahead and get you a suit and the, and the fake British accent. You can go ahead and just do your thing. That's how it felt for me. He was not Alfred. And plus, <laughs> Alfred is a badass. So for for uh, Arthur to just grab him through, another spoiler alert, to grab him through the gate like that around his neck, like Alfred would have straight up just whoosh. <laughs> but, uh, I really, overall, I would say that I would give this movie a 10 out of 10. I love it. I'm definitely going to see it maybe two more times. I saw it on opening night and truly just walked out appreciating the film. And I even thought about it uh, throughout the rest of the day, so yeah definitely go and see this movie if you have seen this movie what do you think comment down below if you haven't seen this movie are you going to are you nervous about the portrayal of the joker i know for sure that i've always wanted to see joaquin phoenix in this role and i also also which it might be too late but i also wanted to see william defoe in this role i always pictured him as the joker but i mean since he's a bit older maybe a little bit too late wishful thinking thank you so much for coming back to my channel uh, I will be doing more movie reviews like this and comment down below what you thought about the Joker if you did see it and do you think that this film is worthy of Oscar buzz because I definitely do I hope Joaquin wins an Oscar and I hope that they even win an Oscar for best picture because this just the whole thing was amazing so comment down below let me know what you think and i will exit stage left and see you in the next movie review <laughs> bye